All right, welcome, ladies and gents. Phoebe Waller Bridge prepping Tomb Raider TV series for Amazon. Ugh. We don't like Phoebe Waller Bridge around here. Uh, mainly just because she's, I just don't think she's as good as everyone thinks she is, quite frankly. I think it's, yeah, I don't think she's that good. I think Hollywood has a bizarre obsession with her. Uh, like they do with most sort of stars. I say stars, but, you know, an up and comer that they, they, they bank on, they hedge all of their bets on. Phoebe Waller Bridge was that. You know, she did one one show, Fleabag, uh, which was just a self-insert. Uh, and then stemmed from there. She's just gone crazy. Uh, now, this is a surprise that Amazon got it. But, you know, that's confirmed. They've got it. And this is where they're going. Uh, it's also confirmed now that they're looking to do a video game uh, as well as this series. And it's going to be this interconnected thing. So, I guess there's that, which is at least an interesting take on it. Uh, and I guess the other side of it is looking at Phoebe Waterbridge doing this. She won't have any time to be India or Indiana Joan, you know, the future uh, Indiana Jones star, basically. Because, of course, there was rumors floating around that she would then be taking over the mantle of Indiana Jones. So I guess this is positive in that regard. But who knows? Look, this is still surprising, to say the least. So, Phoebe Waller-Bridge prepping Tomb Raider TV series for Amazon. This is an exclusive to The Hollywood Reporter. Sources say the Fleabag Emmy winner will pen the script for the project, which is the latest to stem from her recently renewed overall deal with the streamer. I'm really surprised they renewed this deal. I don't think she's done that much that was worthwhile. But apparently she's done enough to warrant them going, yeah, sure. And this is, I guess embodiment of failing up which seems to be hollywood in general now again you know i cop a lot of flack here on this channel for being overly negative but phoebe waller bridge is not someone to you know be massively excited by uh you know she does look through things with an ideological lens and some of that creates very generic content so the thing about this which concerns me when it comes to Tomb Raider, the ideological lens obviously being feminism, is that Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, is, you know, a feminist character outside of, careful now, just wait, wait, outside of the norm uh, in terms of third wave feminism. She's a strong, badass, sexy woman, right? She is what feminists should want to be and want to put out there. But that's not going to happen, and we know that. You know, will she have big titties? Probably not. Will she be flaunting, you know, some level of sexuality? Probably not. And the thing is, is like Lara Croft never really flaunted sexuality. She just was sassy and sexy in that way. So this is the concern: is that you have a character writer uh, that likes to insert one herself. Uh, so please, God, don't play Lara Croft. Phoebe Waterbridge, you're garbage. Um, but also, like I said, you know, it look through things with a, a feminist lens, and that's not going to bode well for Lara Croft as a character. So, yeah. And also, as well, I don't know what she's done, which is action. She she helped work on James Bond, the latest one, but again, that didn't turn out very well either. So I don't know what she's done action-wise, but whatever. Phoebe Waller-Bridge is getting into the action at Amazon. The Emmy-winning Fleabag grad is writing a TV series based on the popular video game-turned-action movie Tomb Raider. The project, which is in the development stages, is the latest to stem from Waller Bridge's recently renewed overall deal with the retail giant and streamer. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that Waller Bridge is attached to write the scripts for the Tomb Raider, so hopefully that's it. Waller Bridge does not plan to star in the TV adaptation, oh my god, well good, which spawned 2001 and 2018 film adaptations starring Angelina Jolie and Alicia Vikander, respectively. There was also another one. It's not just 2001. Uh, so, obviously, that was, you know, Lara Croft. Um, and was voiced by actresses including Camilla Luddington, Keely Hawes, uh, and Minnie Driver in a slew of video game titles. Hayley Atwell also brought the character to life in a Netflix anime series. Never saw that. But good choice, Hayley Atwell. I can see that that was a good choice. You, you know, you, you hear Hayley Atwell's voice, you go, yeah, yeah, I could see that as Lara Croft. So, in addition to writing, Waller Bridge, and this is the real concern, will executive produce the Amazon take, alongside former head of 
comedy. Okay, and also drama, but comedy. And Waller Bridge is renowned for comedy, so no. Ryan uh, Andolina and former head of overall deals Amanda Greenblatt. Andolina and Greenblatt launched their own production company and have a deal with Amazon. D Dimitri M. Johnson will also executive produce via his uh, DJ2 company. So Amazon did not immediately respond to THR's request for comment. So Tomb Raider becomes the latest project in the works for Water Bridge at Amazon. The actress, writer, producer is also developing Sign Here, an adaptation of Claudia Lux's book with the author attached to write the script. So Jennifer Salk-led platform announced last March that it had greenlit a series from Waller Bridge but declined to provide details, including whether it was a comedy or drama. Source of note, Tomb Raider is not that project because, you know, that only went recently, basically. The the, the sort of, um, you know, uh, taking it to task and trying to buy it, that, that was pretty recent. So Source of note, Tomb Raider is not that one. Uh, production on that mystery series was scheduled to begin last year. It's unclear if it remains on schedule. Waller Bridge was previously attached to start opposite Donald Glover in a TV series version of Brad Pitt and Jolie's action thriller, Mr. and Mrs. Why do they keep trying to make her a thing? She's awful. Uh, but the actress departed that show after her vision for the project differed from the Atlanta alum's approach. The duo, who both appeared in Solo A Star Wars Story, remained friendly following the amicable split. She's not, she's not really a team player. So Waller Bridge has remained in high demand following the breakout success of Amazon's Fleabag with her initial three-year deal nearing its expiration late last year. Sources know Amazon was aggressive in approaching her about renewing the pact. So basically, she could just name whatever price she wanted. Waller Bridge next stars opposite Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones 5 and co-wrote the James Bond feature No Time to Die. Her TV credits also include HBO's Run. So... I mean, this is not amazing news, quite frankly. But this is the additional news. Tomb Raider TV film universe with Phoebe Waterbridge in the works. So there's more, just as an FYI. There's more. So this came out after everything else had already sort of been revealed. So Amazon Studios has tapped Phoebe Waterbridge to write a TV series. So we know that already. Um, but that's part of a potential Tomb Raider universe that would span TV, films, and games, according to sources. So the TV series is in the works from Waller Bridge. Uh, we again, we know that. Uh, now, obviously, Amazon had secured the IP and overseeing development of the franchise and producing. So the projects are part of a Tomb Raider multi-platform universe. Amazon has been putting together, which also includes games. Amazon Games and Crystal Dynamics announced a couple of weeks ago an agreement to develop a new Tomb Raider single-player game. So they're part of that as well. God damn. Uh, it's an approach Amazon has been taking more and more often. Amazon Studios last month acquired global rights to the Warhammer 40k game from Games Workshop for Henry Cavill to star in and executive produce the franchise in a universe encompassing TV series, film, and likely games and animation. But So that's all but confirmed now as well. But on the Tomb Raider stuff, so TV series... Deadline has been following for several weeks as it made its way through the deal-making process. Waller Bridge's team, we, we, again, we've heard all of this. Um, but what terrible news, honestly. God, a, a, like a multi-platform thing with, with this being the the sort of inception point for that? Goodness me. I, honestly, I this to me, it doesn't bode massively well. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, hey? What do you guys think? Phoebe Waller-Bridge. At least, at least she's not, at the very least, small wins. She's not starring. That's something, ladies and gents. That is something. She's not starring in it. So, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Love to hear any and all of your thoughts. Please do check out the second channel. Uh, it's actually called Mistake Reviews Live Archives, where the HCast streams go, uh, and they get split up into individual videos. It takes quite a long time, but I know you guys appreciate that rather than having to listen to a two-hour stream. So, please do check that out linked in the description box trying to hit 10,000 subscribers uh before you know the middle of the year so please do hit subscribe over there you'll love the content it's really really good cheers guys take care